All right. It looks like we are live. Hey, everybody. I am Margie Romers Davis with Fast and Easy QBO. And as you know, yesterday, the new basic level, well, and advanced level pro advisor certification tests dropped. These are the new tests for the 2023 season. And um, I spent all day and um, part of last night taking a deep dive into the new test. And I just wanted to spend a little time and give you some feedback. What did I see? What did I notice? So I'm going to just share that with you. If you are brand spanking new, if you don't know anything about the Pro Advisor Certification Program, if you don't know anything about your QBOA account and all of that stuff, then I would invite you to join me tomorrow. I don't have a time yet. I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow when I will be talking about everything you ever needed to know about the the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certification. So tonight's live stream is really just for those of you who maybe have started the uh, the training before from last year, you got into the training, but you never got around to taking the test, or you took the test and you didn't pass. And so now you have to take the new version of the test, maybe you got locked out, all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to just share with you some of the things that I learned from my deep dive. And again, this is just a, a first look, first glance, just kind of some of the things that I noticed. So first of all, um, there are tons of questions about importing. Um, and I found this really interesting. So importing has always been part of the training that you receive from Intuit. Um, but there haven't really been, I mean, the, the, the test questions have, have just been pretty basic. Um, this time, it seems like they really want you to know importing. And so they spend a lot of time on that. Um, I suspect that is because um, so many people are converting from um, like QuickBooks desktop or other or solutions, and they really want you to be trained on all of that migration stuff. Um, now the migration training itself happens in advanced. And once I do a, a first look at that, I'll know for sure, but usually that's the way it is. Um, so, but I just think that they want you to be kind of comfortable with importing, you know, maybe from another system. So tons of training, tons of questions on importing. Um, another thing that um, is, this is so interesting to me. Okay, I give it a, I gave it a thumbs down because I don't really like it. Maybe, maybe you'll like it. But um, so Intuit provides this new client checklist, and the purpose of it is supposed you're supposed to use it while you're uh, onboarding new clients, or you know, or interviewing new clients to see you know what features are they going to need, and you use these little drop downs and you fill out you know the information about the client, and then it like gives you this report. There's like this formula, and it gives you this report of what is going to be beneficial for your clients. And so it used to be that this new client checklist was an Excel file that you would download and, you know, use for yourself. Um, and then last year, they changed it to a Google spreadsheet. Now, when they changed it to a Google spreadsheet, I thought that was actually really brilliant of them because um, they can then change it at any time and we would all always have access to it. You know, if they give us a, 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 a an Excel file, then we have to um, th then we have to down you know download it every time. So um, I thought last year was great that we had the Google spreadsheet, but apparently lots of people were having problems with it. I know our customer support um, was getting lots of questions. People are always having problems with this new client checklist. And so it, they've gone back to it being an Excel file that you have to download. So I thought that was really interesting. I'm a Mac user. I don't like Microsoft products. I don't like to use Excel. So it kind of bummed me out, but that's why I gave it a thumbs down. But anyway, it is what it is. All right, so um, next, um, the, the, the not all of the training, well, none of the training references are linked. So, so this is something, as I was going through the training, I kept noticing it, 
And I wrote down, this is like my little paper of notes. And I kept writing down, I would, I wrote down that it was, it bugged me. And then I'm like, eh, I'm not going to talk about it. And so I crossed it out and then it just kept bugging me, kept bugging me. And so I put it back on the list. And so I'll just show you what I mean by that. I'm going to share my screen real quick so you can see. This is um, inside the training. Again, if you're brand new, you don't know what this screen is. You don't know how to get to it. Don't worry. I, I'll, I've got you in another video um, that I'll film tomorrow. Um, but this is for the people who have been in here before. So anyway, so here we are in our training and um, all of the new training is up. So here is our uh, QuickBooks Online training. And uh, then how many webinars scheduled yet? So we've got the self-paced options. And I'm just going to pull up banking and tools, creating a bank rule. Just this is just, these are all over the place. This is just the one that I wanted to, that I thought I would mention. So here we are in the training. It it's use it's the same as what you're used to seeing, right? These kinds of bubbles that you, you know, go through as you work through the different levels and stuff. But this year they have all the all these um, times where they refer to other training. So right here, it says these topics are explained in the lesson on using bank rules. Okay. And this using bank rules is not a link. It's just, it's just words. So how am I supposed to find, how am I supposed to find using bank rules? using bank rules. And these are all over the place where they keep saying, oh, and there's one that they say, you may want to, re to review this other lesson first. And, but there's no link to the other lesson. How am I supposed to find it? So anyway, just a small annoyance, not a big deal, but it just bugged me after a while. So I thought I would mention it. All right, let me pull that. Up. Okay. So next up, and this is super cool. There is new training on e-commerce. This is a big deal, guys. This is a big deal. So um, Intuit recently added e-commerce features to QuickBooks Online. And the way that works is you can connect your QBO account to um, Amazon. I know they're working on Etsy. I don't think that one's up ready yet. Um, Shopify. Anyway, all these big stores. So if your clients sell stuff, on those, then it's automatically linked, automatically linked to the product services, automatically linked into the money and, you know, all of that stuff. And, uh, and so that's like a huge thing that they're working on because that's going to be like super popular, right? So, um, so anyway, they just released this and there's a little bit of training on it for the first time inside your pro advisor training. So that's exciting. No questions about it on the test. Because uh, I don't think they're ready for that yet, but they do have the training there. So that's cool. Um, what is on the test, and I found this so interesting too, is that there is um, new training on custom fields. Now, custom fields have, have been around for a long time. I, I mean, as long as I can remember, they've had custom fields. Uh, but this is the first time I remember them actually having any training on the custom fields. And I find it particularly interesting because I thought that they were trying to get away from custom fields. Like they added, um, they added tags, you know, tags are, are, you know, a kind of a, a way to accomplish the same, the same thing in many instances. And so, and I had heard somebody from Intuit talking about how they might be eventually getting rid of custom fields. So I don't know. I found it interesting that they're bringing that back. Not only are they bringing that back, they're making sure that we're being trained on it. Again, it might have to do, now that I think about it, it might actually have to do with the conversions from desktop that are happening en masse. So anyway, so anyway, so that's a new thing. Um, here's something that is, um, it's always been a, a bugger for me. And that is that the wording on the test doesn't always match the training. Now, I will say that this year's version of the test is um, very, very good. It's very, very good. And um, it's way better than it was last year. Um, a couple of years ago, you could find the answers to the test, you know, word for word. And it like it was super easy to pass. And then they started making it a little bit harder and they changed up the wording. And um, and every year there's like one section that people just really, really struggle with. 
So this year, um, I, it is, it's very, it's a lot of it, a lot of it is very, very close. But then every so often there is like a test question that is from last, they, it was on last year's test and they have the material in it, the new training, but the new training like doesn't talk about it in the same way as the question. So, um, so that's, that's kind of a bummer. Like that's one of the frustrating things about, uh, about the whole process. Um, but it is, I, I, I have to I still give it a thumbs down, but it is, I have to say way better than it was last year. So that's good. Another thing, this is another thing I found in really interesting is, um, troubleshooting beginning balances is now in basic. So this topic used to be one of the topics in advanced and they have moved it from advanced into basic now. And, um, so I found that interesting. It's not hard. And, um, you know, I teach it all the time. It's like not a big deal, but I just found that it was interesting to have in basic. Okay. So those are the big, those are the big things. Now, um, one of the big questions that I always get is what sections, what modules in the training match up with the sections um, in the test? So it used to be years ago when I first got my certification, they would teach you a concept. Um, we'll just say, you know, banking. Well, they'll teach you a concept, banking, and then they'll have all the test questions. Then they'll have a, a section of the test all about banking, right? So it matched up like that. Then they changed it. So um, they, so that um, it was a, a hodgepodge. Like, so there, you couldn't tell like what, from what sections were going to be in, you know, or what module lessons were going to be in the section test. And uh, it made it really confusing for, for people. It didn't kind of seem logical sometimes. And you could kind of maybe figure, follow it out, figure it out, but it was still frustrating. So this year, it is so much cleaner. It's so much cleaner. And the first three, the first three sections are, uh, uh, maybe a little bit of a struggle. I'll show you. So sections one through three cover modules one through four. So those are not neatly broken out um, as as well as, you know, like we would like them to be. But there, it's a little bit easier than certainly it was um, last year. Section four is easy because it covers modules five and six. And section five is also easy because it covers modules seven and eight. So there are eight testing modules, there's five sections of the test, and that's how they match up. Um, the one thing that I still have just like down, thumb, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down with the Intuit training is that it's so much reading. Are, I mean, are there videos in, the, in it? Yes, there are some videos in it. <laughs> There's some videos in it. But if you're like me and um, you have a really difficult time reading, I'm just not a reader. And um, I, I find it really difficult to um, learn from reading. Um, and so, oh my gosh, like when I first started doing that into a training and I was, you know, just having to read and read and read and read and I wasn't getting the hands-on practice. I'm an auditory learner, so I wasn't like hearing it. It just made it so hard for me to, uh, it just, it just was so painful for me to get through that training. So that's why I created my fast and easy program. So if you would like a version of the training that um, matches up exactly to the test, that is fun, fast, and engaging, um, and is doesn't have all of that reading, <laughs> it's like the difference between reading from a textbook and reading, you know, and learn. It, it's like, the, let me say that again. It's like the difference between learning from a textbook or learning from a teacher. So if you would rather like actually learn from a person rather than just reading, um, then our training materials are for you. Now we are closed right now. We're closed because Intuit just released the test yesterday. <laughs> so we need some time to catch up. And during this catch up while we are closed and catching up, 
you can do one of two things. You can either snag the basic level course at last year's prices. So the prices, once I release the new thing, the price is going to go up. So you can snag last year's prices right now at fastandeasyqbo.com forward slash basic. Or if you're into the whole Black Friday deals thing, um, then you may want to go to fastandeasyqbo.com forward slash black because all month long, well, I, I don't want to say all month long because as long during this time we're closed and I am rebuilding the course, you can get all of all three of the courses, the basic advance and payroll all bundled together for a ridiculously low price. It is cheaper. You can get all three courses cheaper than just the payroll course. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, if you were really wanting to, you know, get all of that training now is the time to do it because I'm never going to have them be this cheap again. And it's not, it's not for black Friday. It's not for the month of November. It's for just until I get it finished. So I don't know when that's going to be, could be a couple weeks. Our, our, our schedule launch date is December 1st, but I always hope to launch earlier than that because I know how much you guys want the training. So, all right, that is it for me. You know what? I did one of these last night for, uh, for um, payroll. So if you're interested in my first look payroll, you can check that out on my YouTube channel. And the last night, I forgot to check to see if there were any comments so, because I'm just so excited, I'm talking really fast on this live stream. So I'm going to just hop over and see if there are any comments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, I, one time I did this, I'm really bad at these live streams, guys, because what happens is I'm like, okay, bye. And I turn it off and somebody was in the middle of typing and I didn't realize it. So I feel bad. So if there's any questions, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to just count down from three, right? Three, two, all right, last chance to ask any questions about the new basic level certification test. And one, okay, that's it. So guys, have a great night and um, I can't wait to hear your success story.